We made this movie for, for kind of parents and children. So it's a family movie. Um, and I, hopefully people can walk away and uh, take some time to ask their parents some questions um, about life and their parents can maybe ask their kids some questions about what it's like to grow up. It was a pleasure, really. He was a, a he's a very, very professional, um, very uh, genuine, engaging person to work with. One of the movies I found myself thinking about quite often was a film called Sugarland Express, which is by Steven Spielberg, which doesn't have much to do with my story uh, other than uh, it was a road trip movie as well. Miguel, thank you for your time today. Thank you, very nice to meet you. We watched um, your film, Finch. It's been breaking just the right amount of buzz on social media. People have been appreciating um, the film, its concept, and of course, Tom Hanks. Now, we wanted to understand now the fact that you know, you've directed the film. What exactly would be the biggest takeaways um, for the viewers from your film, Finch? Um, uh, hope, I'm, I'm really hoping that um, we made this movie for, for kind of parents and children. So it's a family movie um, and I, hopefully people can walk away and uh, take some time to ask their parents some questions um, about life and their parents can maybe ask their kids some questions about what it's like to grow up. Um, uh, just to try and bring people closer together because I think that's we're lacking that at the moment. Um, so that, that would be my hope. The film has also uh, managed to strike a chord with the audience because of its themes, you know, as you just mentioned, but also because of Tom Hanks as the lead. Uh, we all love him. We, we just love this uh, camaraderie that he shares with the robot and of course also his pet. Now, what exactly was your thought process, you know, when you decided to have Tom um, on the project? What exactly did you want him as the protagonist of the film? Um, uh, it was great. Uh, it was a it was a pleasure, really. He was a uh, he's a very very professional, um, very uh, genuine, engaging person to work with, and he's extremely good at what he does. So uh, that I have no complaints. Now Finch is not uh, the first sci-fi film. It's not also the only sci-fi film. Viewers have already watched several um, Hollywood projects under the same genre, um, but. I mean, though we understand that Finch will always remain special to you, which other films, apart from Finch, from the same genre, let's say sci-fi, um, have left an indelible impact on you? Um, that's a good question. It, it depends what which genre you're talking about, because it's. It, I guess this is a sci-fi movie, but it's also yes. a kind of a road trip film yeah. as well. Um, I think the thing that was important to us um, uh, was to make this sci-fi movie feel like a family drama um, and so funnily enough um, one of the movies I found myself thinking about quite often was a film called Sugarland Express which is by Steven Spielberg which doesn't have much to do with my story uh, other than uh, it was a road trip movie as well and there's something about the way that it was shot that I found very engaging and it works spends a lot of time in a car and we spent a lot of time in an RV. And so trying to capture the kind of slight claustrophobia, but also the intimacy of being together in a small space a lot of the time, that was really what we were looking for. Mm -hmm.